You know, it, you, you know what's so sad yet funny too? Mm. The, of all things, that actually like blossomed in a way. It kind of blossomed our friendship. <laughs> and it, of all things, of all things, we could have had a friendship on that. No! Of all things. And now, like, Goldie, it, I believe. I should believe harder. <laughs> I need to believe harder. I believe in the Goldie. Yeah, I believe, I, in, I the believe Goldie. in the Goldie. He believes in me. Yeah, and by Sorry. that logic, that would just mean, oh fuck, my finger slipped. No, um, that that <laughs> by that logic, that means that Simba should cry harder and harder if he wants to see Mufasa again. What do you mean by that logic? He's right here. What do you mean he's right? Oh. <laughs> 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 Bliss Horner, now. No. It was uh -huh. worth it! That was good. That was... I can just imagine Goldie picking me up and putting me in the corner. Worth it, sucker! I just ready to pick you up. Bliss Corner, now. Ow, 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 ow. Worth it, ow, ow, ow. What do you mean, ow, ow, ow? Because if odds are you're getting picked me up at the scrub of the neck. Oh, okay. No, yep. you know what actually would hurt more? If you were Not dragged the tail, by please. No, if you were dragged by your ear. Okay, now you're being a monster. You're just <laughs> being me. Yeah. Well, I guess that says a lot for the black cat from the Disney movie Bolt. <gasps> I love Bolt. There was that scene where the black cat was uh dra fuck. <clears throat> uh, well, the black cat was dragging was Bolt so out. It's like ow, 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 ear, ear. That is attached to me. Ow, ow. <laughs> Can I say something that's a bit of a weird take? What? Yeah. Sure. As good as the Bolt movie was, and I will concede that it was pretty alright, ah. I didn't enjoy it. Ah. You did or you didn't? I didn't enjoy it. Okay, that's fair. Ah, that's I, was fair, like, fair. I, I have this thing where, like, whether or not, uh, well, especially in more recent times, if I don't like something, I'll at least acknowledge that it has to be good, or so many people wouldn't like it. Ugh. I'm not gonna call ev I'm not gonna call the entire planet an idiot if they like Fortnite and I don't. Basically, it, it, it's kind of basically you can like this. I personally can't, but you can. Yeah. I mean, I like the story for what it is, though. A part of me kind of wishes that Bolt was a super dog because I thought that sounded really cool too. But, eh. I, I still enjoyed it, but how you know, come you didn't enjoy, enjoy it? it too. You know what would have been nice? Instead of having a fire yeah. escape for a climax, like, have some kind of conflict between, like, the actors after Bolt Returns and the uh, executive producers. Like, much more front about that. Uh, there was something around those lines that I wanted to, like, that I had more detail of back when the movie was still fresh. Mm -hmm. But going for this whole rescue mission, I'm like, eh, I've seen these done to death. No, it's kind of like Galaxy Quest. You have a bunch of characters who are supposed to be something, and then you realize they're not. But at the end, they actually become the characters they really are. Kind of like that. Yeah. I get it. Well, Logic, why didn't you like it? I'm curious. Yeah. I'm... No, I'm not passing judgment. I'm just curious, because I want to hear a perspective of somebody who didn't like it. Fuck! It's like, this story... It's nothing big. It's nothing that actually gets me to say the story Hang is on, bad. We got or a bot. Just... Uh, I see it. Yeah. Hey. How do I? Fucking hell! How do I do this? Uh, yeah. I'm not a mod, so oh. I can't. I have no power. Hang on. Do you Hang have on. any more? Right and <laughs> block. Good. Now, how do I ban? Is that the same thing? How do you remove it? I don't think you can, if it's there. Or you can hide it. You, yeah, you can remove things that people post, and it will just come up as, like, message retracted or message deleted. Yeah, Thank guys, you, do not... Yeah, guys, do not click on that thingy, by the way. Do not, do yeah. not. Yeah. God damn it! Clicking on the thingy is fucking dumb. Go away, so, bot. You know. You're a bad bot. Go away. Yeah, no, as for, like, my... As for my misgivings for the Bolt movie, it's just, like... It's kind of what you guys said about the whole it would have been cooler if the whole super dog thing were actually real. 
It's like they exchanged what could be a pretty funny story about a dog with superpowers for a story about how the media industry kind of just sucks because no one really pays attention to you unless you're doing what you're told. Which is depressing to me. Uh, oh, so that's what took away from you. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's like the okay. adventure is like, honestly, I feel like Bolt would have been a perfect movie if it was just the dog, the cat, and the hamster and watching them make their way across the country to, where was the final location? Uh, LA. LA. Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. And it's just like, I didn't get that. We kept, it's um, the same problem I have with Assassin's Creed, if you guys know what I mean. It's like, oof. It, I think it's actually uh, where fuck. I got my start on the whole hating how the human element has to be inserted into everything. Because it's just like, I don't care about this. Show me more of the dog being the best. Show me more of the cat being the smartest. Fucking Show me more hell. of the hamster just being the funniest part of the movie. Because I like the hamster. May Fuck I you. add a counter to your view? Sure. Why I, why I disagree. <clears throat> the reason why I disagree is because if we were to go that route you suggested, it would be just another Homeward Bound story and that's been done to death already too. This was technically another Homeward Bound story, Mixed except I thought story. that yeah, mixed with Toy Story. It, and the only difference is that it added a little trait into it that the dog had a goal. The dog thought he was a super dog at one point, only to realize he was not. Basically had to relearn how to be a dog again, which I thought was interesting and kind yeah, of cool. Yeah, no, like I said, the scenes with Bolt and Mittens, I think. Mm -hmm. because, yeah, yeah, Mittens. Top mittens. quality creative painting there, guys. Yeah. Like, I like those. Like, I like those. It's yeah, but whole... if it's... But if it's nice. just those and doesn't have the rest of the story, then it's just another Homer Bound story, and I don't want that. Well, that's what I mean. That's why, like, that's why to me it's like that's why I feel indifferent at best to it because it's just like I wish it would just this, but then it wouldn't Son have enough stuff to be a movie. Yeah, Golly, I give you a hug, but I can't. <laughs> I know you can't because you put me in the corner. <laughs> you could come out of the corner now. I can come and... out of the corner now! Yay! Yay! He puts Lucky Puss like, in the corner. <laughs> to, it's like, to be more specific, the reason the human element bothered me is because, to me, all of those scenes could have been switched around anywhere in the movie's progress, and it would have just been the same thing. You could have switched the last scene with the guy with the pin in it with the first one, uh, and no something. one would have argued with it, because, to me, all of the scenes with Penny talking to the execs and shit, was just the same scene, only with varying degrees of impatience on their part. Even though, you know. Fuck. I mean, I, I liked a few parts with Penny and the the main CEO or executive. Uh, yeah, I get what you mean with the guy and putting the pin in it. That guy was just super annoying. Just get rid of him already. I I get mm. it. Let's he's the, he's it. the annoying agent that doesn't really care about her feelings. I get it. We've seen that trope, but I did like that one conversation between Penny and I guess it was the CEO. Where basically the CEO told Mindy her, from the network. yeah, Mindy from the network. <laughs> How do she, I remember that? You do. Good job. Well, obviously the movie reflected something for you, but um, it was a fun movie. It's just, yeah, there. But that I one moment like where she it. kind of pulls Penny to the side and explains to her, "Hey, look, I know you care about Bolt, but people's jobs are on the line. We got to get this done. This is important, and this is what." you know, making adult decisions is about. I, I don't know how she said it exactly, but that was a big deal. That's a big topic for kids. Mm. I completely forgot you guys were talking about Bolt this entire time. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm same curious here. as to what you think this was. Fuck! <laughs> we're, just, we're just going on and on about this dang Pixar movie, so... <laughs> That's not Bolt. Pixar! That's oh, straight up... Yeah, that is straight no. up Disney canon. Uh, okay. yeah. with, her, with regards to that whole bit with Mindy from the network, something that confused me about that whole, oh, you just got, you got to let Bolt go because, you know, people's jobs are on the line and, you know, those people have families, which I get that. I may not be a fan of them basically saying your problems don't matter when compared to the problems of hundreds of others. It's just like telling anyone to just go fuck themselves when they have a problem doesn't jive well with me, but it mm. does make sense. And... I get that, but then at the end of the movie when they quit anyway, and then the show kind of just goes under, or at least it's perceived that the show kind of just goes under, I'm just like... Sorry, I'm watching Goldie play, and I'm just... My my butt was clenching. Fuck! <laughs> okay. 
like yeah, you, know, you know what I mean, right? Like, I'm not I'm not trying to say uh... that like her decision to quit anyway sort of erased that conversation with Mindy, but it's kind of just like you kind of just went to hell with those people and their jobs at the end when you quit anyway. And I know you could say that it was the mother who decided that they were going to quit because the fucking the manager guy is the fucking... biggest cunt. Mm. Honestly, I I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm getting bored of doing this. Nah, I don't blame you. It's getting repetitive, and I keep thinking, is there like a power up you're missing or something? What are we missing here? Because this feels a little ridiculous. Do we have a code like we had in Gradius? Oh, that would be nice. That would have been fucking nice, but no. There's just uh, there there's a lot of cheap enemy placement. They're, like sometimes there are enemies that come from behind you, and that is like. Oh yeah, that, that to me was nonsense. Yeah, that was just like, it's one thing to give it a challenge, it's another to just, son of a bitch. It's like, well, in Hollow Knight's a hard game, but at least I know I'll eventually be able to overcome that. With this, the enemies that spawn randomly behind you, it's just like, yeah, no. Oh even... mother, flop, us bucket. What? It's like it's no, they just watching him die like that. I was calling BS in my head. Are you watching the screen share? Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're watching the <laughs> live feed. Oh goddamn. Yeah. Okay, now I'm watching the live. Now I'm watching it live. <laughs> I've got I've got both the screens up because I want to keep my eyes. Yeah, on the same. You said some people were being like. Some of these people in the chat were being naughty. They're being a naughty chat. You will not be Fuck. naughty. And so, some of them were asking how my time in the corner was. What was it like? No, oh, the corner, the corner, man. God damn it! This fucking the corner. Degrees, that though. was cheap. Like as soon as I <laughs> respawn, I'd, I'd just take another shot. Like I really? love how Golden. I love how I love how that sounded like Golden had a preemptive reaction to my the corner's eighty degrees joke. He's like, <laughs> that was cheap. Yes. Yes. And yes, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, the corner. The diaries would be worth to make another Shakespearean tragedy. <laughs> the, the, another, it would be enough to make My Chemical Romance look like an actual band. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, Whoa, damn. dude, don't oh. talk shit about My Chemical Romance. Welcome oh. to the fucking Black Parade, dude. I do not. I, like, I, I felt that shit in my fucking guts, man. Wow. <laughs> it would actually, like, an angsty teen would actually make more lyrics than My Chemical Romance. I do not like My Chemical Romance, if you can't tell. I got it. <laughs> I get if you it. grew up you during like it. it. If you grew up during the early 2000s and were, like, a preteen teenager, you watched, you listened to that band religiously. Mm-hmm. I do uh, not like it <laughs> at all. Screw you guys. Like, I, I was born in 86 and lived through the late 80s all the way up through the 90s and 1000s. I'm you freaking babbis! I'm gonna be and like, it happened rather... again. Yep. I just respond and then get shot right at the next second. Like, how, how are you supposed to dodge that? You're gonna shoot it automatically. Rather... You're gonna shoot it immediately because you're trying to upgrade your ship. I Am think... I supposed to just avoid the sh like getting the upgrade? That's counterintuitive. Uh, I'm starting to think that this game is more about rhythm and recognizing patterns than it is about being a bullet hell, which is the opposite of pal of patterns. Oh, so <laughs> space invaders! Oh God! Oh. Ah no! It, it, okay, like... yeah, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. this is no longer fun. Yeah, no. yeah. This, uh... The only thing fun was a bit of conversations. That's sad. <laughs> That's really nothing new at this point. <laughs>